take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Play action now. Dalton. In trouble, and he's taken down. There's Chris Olave. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. That's good for us. Dalton, first and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. The 20, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the it out this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. All right, let's see what Dalton can do after the fumble recovery. Here's Johnson with a reception. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. At least you told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints will take over possession here up at the 34. And I think this is a situation where quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't Under heavy pressure and down. And Dalton to throw. And they finally catch up to him and take him down. Jeez, where was he going? A huge... This one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And the Falcons grab it. And first and goal is one. Right. Has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength. That's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they got him. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. That's their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Going for it, here's ETN. And I'm not sure he got to be a turnover on downs. Running the counter, Patterson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. To throw Mariota. Now they go screen. It's complete. Touchdown. Cordell Patterson. Some type of a play on it. <laughs> some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On the return, here's Agnew. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And they take over already. Patterson. 
Will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. He'll try again. And I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. They'll try to run with Patterson. And he will take it in for a Beginning on the ground with Patterson. They find some open field here. And they'll get it. From out of his end zone, it's Avery Williams. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Falcons take on our first down 10 at their own 19 yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So here's a first and ten now, down inside the twenty. Play fake, Mariota. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. And brought down, but not before they three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. On second, here's Algier. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Algier again. And he'll take it into the end zone. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third and long, it's Fields. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Falcons are going to have the short field in yards further upfield. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And able to get it across. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. Now Wilson. Throw right side, complete to Williams. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he's brought down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Hurt sets up to throw it. They try it for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked off by...
But first down, Hurts on the move to his left. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to take possession. Throwing again on second down. Wilson on the slant, completes to Sutton. And the Broncos are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Williams will score. Touchdown, Broncos. To get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn upfield and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Sanders hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And a block. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of mid and complete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. Got a man and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Then you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would... And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, a tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Wentz on third down. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to take possession as they... On second and 12, Wentz. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he's going to have a first down, and they get into field goal range here at the 29. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first. Oh. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to get the foot. Out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
Bearing it out deep for Woods. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Titans. Well, he's been down. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working,